Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV. This is the aftermath. Well, what can I say? Um, another defeat for Arsenal at home. 2-0 by uh, a very good Manchester City team. Game effectively kind of killed off after nine minutes um, after the sending off of Koscielny. To me, it was a sending off. Koscielny was too rash. He, he didn't need to do that. He didn't need to, you know, grab hold of a player like that. I mean, he could have made him run through. He probably wouldn't even have scored anyway. And even if they had a done, we've been in one nil down. Um, with but we still have eleven men on the pitch, and it kind of killed the game. We were, our heads dropped after that, and um, for the first half, showed a lot of spirit in the second half. Uh, a very spirited. Um, performance in the second half which um, I think the fans are pleased with but it's another three points dropped and um, sets us right back regarding the penalty decision the one thing that I would say is that um, would that penalty have been given at Old Trafford would that have been given uh, if Sir Alex would have been standing on the uh, line I mean not the penalty I think maybe the penalty had been given but would he have sent off Koscielny because I don't think he necessarily had to send off Koscielny it's one of those where if the referee doesn't send him off I don't think Mancini would have been saying oh you should have sent him off you know but the referee wanted to make his little statement and he sent him off and you know the rest is history another defeat for Arsenal uh, a very demoralizing one in fact and um, it's kind of back to square one again as we start off as I keep saying on all these programs inconsistent Arsenal one week brilliant next week not so brilliant not very good next week could be brilliant again we don't know what Arsenal's going to turn up I'm going to get straight into the tweets because uh we had a a, a, ma a massive response this week um with people uh, sending through their tweets and uh, giving their opinions on the game uh, starting off with uh, Ramesses Placenia, he says, This result just shows that we need to strengthen our squad. We need to bring in two good players to help us into the top four. Now, I couldn't agree with that more. The squad yesterday, to me, it showed that when we were down to 10 men, where were those game-changing players? Last year, we had it in Robin Van Persie, and you've even seen him doing it again this season for Man United. In games when they're down, down and out, They've got those sort of players like Robin Van Persie who can just step up and change a game. Where is those players at the moment? Um, <clears throat> we need to bring them in. Uh, Johnny Short says, despite having 10 men for most of the game, we show good character by creating chances. Jack Wilshire was our best player. Definitely, Wilshire was excellent yesterday. Um, and he goes on to say in another tweet, um, he would like to see Coquelin given give more time as well. He's played uh, well as a def defensive midfielder when called upon. He's done okay, but I don't think he's the answer actually as a defensive uh, midfielder. But give us your comments. Let us know what you think. If you think that Coquelin could do a great job for us in that defensive midfield position. Uh, Miguel Pinto says, uh, we need to strengthen the midfield and have better options on the bench. Exactly what I was saying. He was saying that Wilshire was top class and Mertesacker should have started first. A bit strange that because Mertesacker has probably been our best centre half this season. was a bit strange to see uh, Koscielny starting in front of him for this game. Maybe they went with uh, Koscielny because of the, the pace of Koscielny. Um, uh, hindsight's a wonderful thing, but it was a bit of a um, strange one. Um, Christian Chadecki says... It was the Mike Dean show, as simple as that. <laughs> Enough said about that. And I'll tell you what, if you watch uh, some of our videos, uh, you can watch the video with Bully. He was not happy with Mike Dean at all. Mike Dean is definitely not on his Christmas list. Check out that video and you'll see Bully tearing into Mike Dean after the game. Raw emotions. It was brilliant. Um, William Barker says, I think that Podolski needs to be given a bigger role in the squad. By this, I mean playing as a centre forward or striker. He scored 18 goals last year. I couldn't believe when Podolski came off. He's one player of quality that can get us a goal. I was shocked at that. Um, Boyce Arsenal says, Mertz playing up front in the last 12 minutes or so is a sign of how desperate we are. 
We need a defensive midfielder and a centre half. And again, as soon as possible, he says. And he says, uh, Manvila or Lopez. And again, I couldn't agree with him more. I mean, it's true. Mertesacker playing as a centre forward. We had nobody to change the game on the bench. No other striking option. It's unbelievable for Arsenal Football Club. Um, Wilt says, uh, what about Fringpong and Cockling? Um, in the defensive midfielder position. He said, Bayern is the easy option, but give these guys a chance. Um, give us your comments on that. I'm not sure if those two guys are ready. They're not specialists. Well, Fringpong is, but obviously he had the leg break um, and he's had the injuries and he's had to go away on loan. But I'm not sure if those guys are what we need right now. We need a guy in that position, an experienced guy that's going to get into that position because we have not got a specialist defensive midfielder in that whole squad we had one song and we sold him even Mikel Arteta who's playing that in that position is not a specialist defensive midfielder he came here as a creative midfielder so why have we not bought that player it's just baffling to me um Michael McCoughlin, M McCullen sorry uh, apologies for that says if the referee had made those decisions at Old Trafford He'd be refereeing in the champions, uh, I think he said League One on Saturday. I think he means a championship. And that's what I was saying earlier. I don't think that player would have been sent off at Old Trafford. I don't think it would happen. I'm sorry. I don't think it would have. And uh, he also goes on to say that we need to buy proven premiership players. The Army at West Ham for three million and Cissé at Newcastle. I'm not sure about um, Cissé because he's gone right off the ball. And he says, uh, we need a defensive midfielder and a striker. Everybody seems to know what we need, apart from the manager and the board at the moment. Um, K.A. Layton, now he makes a point here that, you know what, when you think about it, <laughs> it's a serious point. He says, it hurts, but we're just not good enough. City were without Yaya Torre, Nasri and Aguero. Three of the, I mean, Yaya Torre and Aguero, their two best players, weren't playing. And he said, we were still just a Wilshire away from a drubbing. That's a brilliant um, tweet, that is. And so true. Shows how far ahead Man City are from Arsenal. We have to accept it. Um, Marco Leonardi says, uh, we can't use the excuse that there isn't exceptional players available. Um, we just don't want to pay the money. And that's true. Um, that Fellaini apparently has got a £22 million release clause in his contract. If we offer £22 million, that's activated. That means we can talk to Fellaini. Then he can either say yay or nay. Have we activated that? No. Are we going to spend £22 million? million? No. And we've had this whole ticket price thing going on this week where... We're being told about, you know, Man City complaining about having to pay the £62. We pay that week in, week out, home and away. We deserve better players. I'm being honest here. We deserve, Arsenal fans deserve the best. If you go to the cinema or if you go to the theatre and you pay the top dollar ticket, then you expect to see not just a mediocre film or a mediocre play. You want to see the best. So why are we paying the best money? the biggest money, the largest money, and we're not seeing the best. Board, get it together. We want some good signings coming in now. You're messing about too much. Bring those signings in for our loyal fans. Um, Christian Chidekia says, uh, also says, um, Arsene Wenger saying there's no quality out there. What about Debucci, Remy, and Mvia? Uh, they'd surely strengthen our squad. And uh, Lovely Guna says, <laughs> this is what I'm going to end with this tweet here. He says, first thing in the morning was to check the transfer window. I do that a lot myself. And Arsenal, we still signed nobody. Why haven't we signed anybody? I still can't work it out. The games that we've got this month, Man City yesterday, uh, Wednesday Swansea, Chelsea, difficult game away, Liverpool at home, difficult game West Ham at home, difficult game. Why didn't we make some early signings? Chelsea done it. They brought in Denver Bar. He's already got a few games under his belt now. Why didn't we do it? Even if we do get somebody now, or if we get somebody right at the end of the window, we could have dropped so many points. Why? I just cannot... Arsenal's transfer policy is so frustrating. It's unbelievable. 
And what I want you to do actually is give us your comments. Let us know what you feel about Arsenal's transfer policy. Let us know here in the comments about who you think we should bring in. Um, because honestly, after yesterday's game, it shows that we definitely need to strengthen the squad. Thank you for uh, watching the Aftermath today. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to us. It's very important. Hit the like button if you've liked this video. It's very important to us that you do that. And, um, you know, as I said, subscribe to us. When you subscribe, you get all the information on the videos. We're going to be doing some competitions in the upcoming week for all our subscribers. We've got some great prizes that we're giving away. So make sure you subscribe. And um, also, don't forget to check out our videos. We've got some great videos this week. As I mentioned earlier, the video with Bully talking about Mike Dean after the game yesterday is that absolute classic. Make sure that you check it out. And also we got a great video that we did with uh, some of the autograph hunters. Um, that they, they, These guys, they come down all the way from Manchester, watch the games, um, and then after the games, they're out on the road and they wait for cars to, 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 of the players to pull up to try and get an autograph off of them. You know, just an autograph from their heroes. And it is just such a great video to see the dedication of these guys trying to get um, autographs. And they don't harass the players. They're just there, go up to the cars, can you sign this? If not, then they just back off. And it's just such a great video. Make sure you check that one out, um, the autograph hunters. And make sure to tune into the aftermath. We'll be back here um, after the game against Swansea. And uh, let's keep the faith, guys. Hopefully, by the time we do the next aftermath, there'll be a couple of big signings coming in and we'll be through to the next round of the FA Cup and I'll be dreaming about a nice away day to Brighton.